Hey, what's up guys? Quentin with Lawn Care Ninja here. Today's video is going to be how to sharpen your blades and also how to balance your blades. We do have Lawn Care Ninja merch. This is a blowout of a mower deck. Uh, so I'm really happy to announce that we have these shirts. I had them made, I have the design. This is just a generic uh, mower deck. It's not any one in specific. We also have the uh, Lawn Care Ninja logo on the right sleeve. So yeah, if you're interested in purchasing one of these, head over to my Instagram page, at Lawn Care Ninja, and uh, shoot us a DM, and uh, we can work all that out. I'm selling them for $30 uh, plus shipping. I'm gonna put links in the description for everything that I am using here today. Uh, so if it's something that you wanna purchase, go ahead and uh, check the description and uh, purchase it from those links. Uh, but the first thing we're gonna talk about is actually the uh, wheels the grinding wheels that i'm going to be using uh, actually i'm not going to be using this one i think they recommend a uh, flap wheel but when i was using this it was actually almost kind of like smoothing part of the edge out and i didn't like how it uh, felt and kind of how it looked so i just went with a uh, grinding wheel like this uh, and it's a uh, type 27 grinding wheel uh, I've noticed I've gotten really great results with a grinding wheel like this uh, using the Milwaukee uh, Fuel M18 brand. I like using this one just because it, uh, it it's uh, mobile. If you want to use, you know, like a, a corded grinder or anything like that, you're more than welcome to. The All-American Sharpener actually has these things, has several of these things that uh, can fit into a lot of uh, angle grinders. So you're definitely going to be covered using using that. Next, I have the Organ uh, Blade Balancer. I found this thing on Amazon. It is uh, a little expensive, I think maybe 80, 90 bucks. Uh, you can definitely find cheaper ones out there. When I actually purchased this, I wasn't quite sure how to actually use it. Um, so we're gonna go over this uh, in case it's something you guys do decide to purchase and you're wondering exactly how you use it and uh, what, this, what this thing right here is for. Uh, I ended up meeting Denny Austin at GIE 2021 and uh, did an interview with him and uh, told him how much I loved the product. Uh, but this is what we're actually going to be using today. Uh, I decided to mount it on this piece of wood just so, like I said, it can be uh, more mobile for me. But you're, you can certainly mount this on a, a workbench or you know any other sturdy place. But what I like about it is you can actually set the angle that you want. Right now, it's set at 30 degrees so when we're grinding our uh, edge we're gonna have an edge that's exactly 30 degrees every single time all right so when you put the blade in here you're gonna just put it in there tighten it up now what I would actually recommend doing is bringing your blade up just a little bit more because I have found when I'm actually using this and grinding I've uh, come down a little too far and actually grounded one of these uh, a little bit I do believe they sell these on the All-American Sharpener, so if you ever need replacements, you can get those there. So now that we have our grinder in the jig, what you want to make sure that you do, see how the this comes to a point of the grinder? You want this point to be exactly where you're going to be grinding. And the way you can adjust it is actually using this right here and then just being able to move it over if you need. Make sure you always wear eye protection. And when I start doing this, the uh, All-American Sharpener company actually recommends that you just start from the bottom and you go up, which is fine if you are just starting out. Because uh, I had a lot of comments in uh, my previous video of me kind of going up and down. I think that is because of what they suggest is starting from the bottom and going to the top. But I think once you start getting good enough you should be able to just kind of go up and down and do it both ways it's just going to make it go a little quicker so when you're ready to go you get into position hold it about level so the grinder should be uh, level
So when you're picking this up, be careful because it's going to be hot. Uh, when you're actually doing this, you, you want to give it a good amount of pressure when you're doing it, but not too much. If you go too much, you're just going to be bogging your uh, grinder down, but you want to do it enough to where you're you're sure you're make, you're taking enough material off. But once you're done, you can feel that, and man, that is super sharp. One of the reasons why I like doing this myself is because when I was taking it to the, my shop to have the blades, have them sharpen the blades, they would actually only sharpen right there. So you can see all this extra that's right here. And that's where they would sharpen to. Now I know a lot of blades don't actually um, get used that much here because a lot of the cutting you know happens from here to here but if i'm paying 10 bucks a blade to sharpen i want them to sharpen the the whole blade all right guys so now that we have our blade nice and sharp we're going to balance it you always want to balance your blades because if you have one that's warped or not balanced and you're actually using that on your mower you can cause a lot of damage on your machine, like your spindles and your pulleys and all that stuff can actually wear down a lot more. So having balanced sharp blades is going to help prolong the life of uh, your mower, the spindles and pulleys and all that stuff. So one thing you wanna do is these magnets, very, very strong. Don't get your fingers between the uh, blade and the magnets. Just simply put it on there like that. And then you can just slide it forward like that then you let it go. So for the most part, it's pretty well balanced. If it was not, you would see this go down here. When it goes down here like this, that just means that there's more material here on this end than there is up here. So you would need to grind a little bit more on this side so that when you do put it on, it stays level like that. So I'm probably going to take a little bit more off of this because I want this as straight as possible. One thing I do to make sure I know which side to grind, I'll just take a permanent marker and just make a little mark right there. So that way I know this is the side that I need to be taking more off of. This is the side that we tried taking more off, so we're gonna see how it looks. Perfect, that's how it should be. So this little tool right here is actually to make sure that your blade is uh, straight and not warped. Bring one of your blade ends down there. This one's a little hot just because I ended up just sharpening it. But you want to have it just to where, just a little bit behind where the uh, edge is. Now what you want to do is just spin this around and make sure that that other side doesn't end up hitting that and it's pretty close to uh, where the other one was. This blade actually, I just ended up taking off of my mower uh, about a week ago. Um, so we're gonna balance this and just kind of see the kind of shape it's in. Pretty straight, very straight actually. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the straightness of it. So we're gonna come right there. Then we're gonna take the other way. Yeah, see, you can see how it's hitting that. We can even adjust this down a little bit more so you can see it.
Yeah, see how it hits that? So this blade is not straight. I do not want to put this back on my mower, no matter how sharp I make this edge or how new this blade is. Because that's going to wreak havoc on my uh, spindles, on my mower. And the price it costs to just buy another one of these is so cheap compared to having to spend, gosh, I don't know, six, seven, eight hundred bucks to have a uh, spindle replaced. And then your mower's out of commission for three, four, five, six, seven days, if not more. So here are the blades for my Xmark Commercial 30. Uh, these blades are obviously a lot smaller. These ones actually go by uh, really quick to sharpen just because you're only sharpening that much compared to, you know, down here with the uh, other blades. So I went ahead and sharpened those, but we're gonna test them out to make sure that uh, they're balanced. That looks really good. That's a sharp, balanced blade. Here's the other blade for the Commercial 30. So you can see this side has more material on it than this one does. So I'm gonna take my marker, just make a mark, and then we're gonna shave off a little bit more on this and come back and see if it's balanced. Perfect. Balanced. There it goes right there. Yep, perfect. The reason why I did that is because I pushed a little bit too much on it. Yep, perfect. So these marks should disappear relatively quickly just because, you know, the amount of time that you're actually using these to like cut grass, uh, that's just gonna naturally wear off. So that should not stick around. So next time you're doing this, you shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't see that. All right guys, hopefully that video helped you out. You found it informative. If you did hit that like button, I'd appreciate it. Um, I know there are many other uh, ways to sharpen your blades, but I honestly swear by the All-American Sharpener. Um, I've never seen a blade uh, this sharp, this straight, with a straight edge every single time. Uh, I've been doing this for like 16 years, and we used to use like a, a grinding wheel and just going back and forth, and sometimes we'd have like, it was just a pain to try and teach guys how to uh, sharpen blades, but with the setup like this, it's easy as can be, anyone can do it. Uh, so if you want nice sharp blades every single time, check out the links below. And don't forget the blade balancer, uh, cause that's just as important as regular maintenance. It's just as important as oil, hydraulic fluid, uh, blade maintenance, all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Later.